G'day guys and gal. If you're a Reddit scrolling degenerate like I am, you probably have seen the news. Female custodies are now canon. Not just like as a new Belsarius cool tinkering thing oh, no, they have been made retrospectively canon. Meaning since their creation 10,000 years ago, there has always been female custodies amongst their ranks. This obviously raises a few eyebrows and even more questions, while also potentially reigniting and refueling the female space marine debate. But why now? Does this conflict or retcon previous lore? Is it jarring that we are told that female custodians have always existed, but there isn't a single moment in the entire lore of a female custodian till now. Does it even matter? Is it necessary? As I am a custody collector, with my main army being the banana boys, and I suppose girls now, this is close to my heart, and I have a vested interest in their lore, so I feel reasonably qualified to offer my thoughts on the matter. Today, I'll be going over the new lore that confirms the female custodies before then giving my thoughts about the situation and how it ties into the female space marine debate. Uh, let's get into it. <laughs> So this confirmation of a female custodian came from a recent leak of the upcoming new Custodes Codex. It talks about a short story about a custodian Calidace Torovala Kesh, 100% a female and referred to as such. They talk about her status as a giant and her golden armor. She is halfway through a blood game, where she intends to teleport an ancient Dark Age of Technology nuke into the Imperial Palace, right in front of the Emperor, which would in theory explode and kill the Master of Mankind, the Custodian Companions, and basically end the Imperium. The short story kind of implies that the nuke was armed and could actually go off. The Custodes did take the blood games extremely seriously after all, but I also don't think she would turbo fuck the Imperium just to prove a point, so there was likely a fail safe if she actually succeeded. However, a squad of custodies teleported on board her ship and captured her, ending her blood game. It turns out that one of the crew members was nervous about the female custodian's plan and seemingly betrayal, so alerted the Imperial Palace. In turn, Kesh ordered the man to be turned into a servitor and the entire crew to be punished. She wanted a crew that trusted her completely and committed to her orders without hesitation, no matter what they were. In the story, Kesh is written like a custodian, sure of herself, hyper aware and with her own personality. She can't help herself but smile when the other custodians custodians teleport on board to end her game, as they remark that she is so extra when it comes to the blood games and she always tries the most hectic shit. Then after the story was leaked, Games Workshop themselves tweeted that in regards to female custodians, there has always been female custodians, ever since the first of the 10,000 were created. So canically, there are female custodians. All those head swapped minis are now completely legitimate. But before I get into the lore of this and if it makes sense or follows previous lore, there is something I want to address first. The writers always wanted to make female custodians. Aaron Dembski Bowden even talks about it in detail. However, one of the higher ups in Games Workshop insisted that there were no female custodians. They also only released male custodian options and also had the Sisters of Silence, who were supposed to basically be the female custodians as well. The writers had actually prepared law for the female custodians, but could never release it. So instead, a number of them subtly allowed the law to include femstodies if the higher ups who hated it eventually left or chilled out. For example, in one of the books that discusses a custodian's creation process, it completely omits any mention of gender or gender requirement, whereas the law has time and time again stated that there can only be male space marines. However, I do need to mention in that one of the codexes, there is a snippet of law that says the custodians are taken as the infant sons of the noble houses of Terra. So there is actually a minor canon conflict here, technically. I wouldn't say that's a make or break though, as retcons happen all the time, but why is this happening now and how does GW explain the complete lack of female custodies in the past? Well, as I've said, female custodians were vetoed for quite some time, hence no models and no law. However, if we want to look past the meta explanation and look at a viable in-law one, then I would say this. A custodian is very masculine. Not as masculine as a space marine, but very masculine. They are warriors, philosophers, and guardians things that are notably male dominated. The concept of finding and then modifying a special super nuke in order to teleport it into the Imperial Palace to fake kill your liege lord as a part of a fun little game is a very boy-like thing to do. As such, my headcanon is that the female custodians are extremely rare as they would need to be not like a normal female. On top of that, the Imperium wouldn't be aiming for some quota of female custodians. They would recruit the children who would be best suited to become a custodian. If that was a female, then great. If it was a male, then great. However, as I said, due to custodians being high highly masculine, more often than not, the best candidates would generally be male. This isn't really a hot take, and it would go a long way to explain why we have never had female custodians in the law. I personally would find it a bit jarring if suddenly all custody squads were equal ratio male to females, because then it comes across as a bit forced. But if they had female custodians existing, but rare, then I think that would go down a lot better. People also gotta realize that a female custodian isn't gonna look like this dumb, thick muscle mummy with giga tits. Custodians are genetically shaped from an extremely young age. 
Thus, a female custodian would have the speed, strength, and muscle mass of a male custodian. They also wouldn't have tits, as that would be entirely obsolete and would, if anything, just slow them down. Thus, a male and female custodian tabletop model, if wearing a helmet, should be identical. All they would need to do now is release a female head option and potentially one female custom character model, and bam! Sorted. They could sort of end up like this female Stormcast Eternals, except more masculine, as the female Stormcast Eternals were warrior women, whereas female custodians are genetically modified from infancy. So overall, what are my thoughts on female custodians, and how does this affect the female space marine situation? Personally, I'm not too bothered. Custodians are nuanced enough to have a few females. The fact that the writers have been keen on this for a while is also a good sign that this isn't just some weak source attempt to increase diversity and inclusiveness. I just hope that my headcanon is right and that female custodians are pretty rare as to not make all previous custodian lore jarring. What does this all mean for the female space marines though? In my opinion, if anything, I think this actually shuts that one down even further. It took this long to make female custodians and it was something most people were pretty chill with and the writers were keen on. It just didn't happen because of a GW higher up and the model team not being stuffed enough to make a female head variant. However, when it comes to female space marines, many writers and most fans are against the idea with the law having explicitly stated numerous times that only men can be space marines. I've made this point before and I want to make it again, but if you turn a female into a space marine, they will literally stop being a female. A space marine is so hyper over masculinized that they literally become weaponized or incarnate. Everything that is distinguished and admirable about a strong female character would be completely crushed out of a female space marine. They would literally just become a trans dude, they would be built like a brick shithouse, their voices would be deep as hell, they wouldn't have these big mummy milkers. If anything, it would just kind of be insulting to girls to have female space marines come into the setting and outshine sisters of silence, sisters of battle, female custodies, or female guardsmen. As now the poster girls of the setting would literally be dudes. I personally believe that female characters are warriors who embrace their femininity as a part of their combat and attitude, like how a lot of the female Eldar do, are significantly better characters than if you just created female space marines. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty cool with female custodies, especially with how they're presented by Custodian Cash in the new short story. I just hope GW doesn't expect us to believe that it's been a 50-50 ratio for the entirety of 40k lore, otherwise that would be a bit retarded. Also, the irony of the custodies getting females and then immediately getting nerfed to become the weakest faction in the game is not lost on me. Probably the balancing team having some kind of mini rebellion, which in itself is hilarious. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, then Patreon is the place to be, where I do actually have nude cosplays of a female custodian, as well as female custodian hentai. Guess I was ahead of the game. Hit the subscribe button and hit the real subscribe button for more insights of the glorious golden banana girls. Join the Discord for more memes and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.